Now, the next award is Regional Exporter, recognising outstanding international success by a business whose head office is based in a non-metropolitan location. Our proud sponsor of this category is the Department of Agriculture, Water and the Environment. Please welcome Secretary Andrew Metcalf. Andrew, uh, tell us why the department sorts, uh, supports the Export Awards and while you're at it, go through the finalists. Good evening, everyone. The Department of Agriculture, Water and the Environment is committed to enhancing Australia's agriculture, our environment, our heritage and our water resources through regulation and through partnerships. So I'm proud that we're a long-standing sponsor of the regional exporter category, recognising businesses that promote growth in regional Australia. The Australian Export Awards provide important national recognition for businesses across all sectors and we're so proud to be involved in recognising those businesses that are as committed to enhancing Australia's precious resources as we are. My department assists industries to accelerate towards a $100 billion agriculture sector by 2030. An important part of this is the Agribusiness Expansion Initiative, or ABI. Key elements of the initiative overseen by the department include match grants for government and industry associations to work together on market expansion, boosted in-country engagement activities, accelerated work on technical market access, and greater collection and delivery of market intelligence to exporters. The finalists for the Australian Export Award Regional Exporter are Air Physio, New South Wales, Asia Pacific Aircraft Storage, Northern Territory, Beck Hardy Wines, South Australia, Blue Hills Honey, Tasmania, Care Essentials, Victoria, Derby Industries, Western Australia, Garlicious Growen, Australian Capital Territory, Morton Co, Queensland. Good luck to you all. Yep, it is a family affair. Every export business is there. Great to see the kids involved. Uh, the Regional Exporter Award goes to Air Physio. <laughs> Congratulations to Air Physio. Um, as an exporter based in a, in a regional area, how did you develop those relationships with so many, com uh, so many countries? Um, it wasn't easy to start off with, but COVID actually changed the mindset in relation to yeah. using Zoom instead of having to fly over to come and meet them. Yeah, so, so Paul, while we were all sort of getting used to to doing Zoom meetings and mute, muting ourselves at the wrong time or, or having weird people walk behind us, it actually proved a boost for your business. It did. It's been phenomenal. Um, Zoom's actually helped us to grow to 85 countries, up from about five last year, actually, and about 50 what? countries since um, uh, March. Hang on. Five to 85 in a year? Just over a year, yes. Oh, my goodness. That is for... Where are you based? Uh, just in South Tweed, just right. south of uh, the Gold Coast. And and tell us about some of your clients. What what do you provide them? Uh, we actually um, sell B2C and also B2B uh, respiratory therapy devices to help them to breathe easier. Right. It's a medical device. OK. Uh, tell us about the team around you. Who have you got there with you? Um, I've got um, Natalie here, who's um, our brand manager. Um, this is my wife, who makes sure that we actually don't overspend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andrew, who's our COO. Um, Ethan, who's our uh, marketing manager. Um, the rest of them have actually all gone home for the uh, for the evening. Oh, they have little faith. When they come back tomorrow, you can say, "Let me tell you what you missed out." And of course, you're going to shout. Um, the team that stayed, aren't you? A celebratory drink. Oh, definitely. Definitely, okay. yes. All right. Now, Mrs O'Brien, uh, tell me what it's like to keep him under control. <laughs> wow. Good chance. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> uh, no, it, 
I'm just blown away by what my husband does um, every each and every day. Uh, he surprises me. His knowledge and his passion for not just yeah. our business but our our workforce. Um, he treats everyone like family. So. Um, yeah, that's what I'm really hang on. proud of. Hang on. It's, not, it's, not, it's not just about him, it's about you too. You know, you run, you run <laughs> the finances and the business side and as every exporter knows, yes, you can have great products and service to export, but the business has got to run smoothly as well. What, how have you coped with that many, having to deal with that many new countries and so many different currencies and transactions? It's definitely been a challenge learning on our feet and, um, yeah, international finance now and, yeah, it, it, <laughs> I've had to bring on a lot of people in our team. So, um, yeah, but we've kept it as family and as well. So I've got my sister and our eldest daughter and other staff I'm working with now on the finance and payroll. So, yeah. That is yeah, true. They proved to actually work and... So we did actually let him come into the business. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations to you both. Outstanding. Five to 85 countries in a year. Extraordinary. Congratulations on being the regional exporter. Thank Thanks, you, Koshi. Koshi.